Hi everyone, welcome to Ask an Armorer. My name's Kia and today I am going to be taking you with me on another tournament vlog. So I am, as you can see, just in the car now. I just packed myself up with my toolbox, the video replay system, some extra test boxes, all of those sort of good things that I need for a tournament. And I am about to head off to Montreal for nationals. So should be a lot of fun. Montreal, of course, is a lovely city, uh, especially this time of year. So I'm hoping I can see some of that as well. But I'm just gonna, as usual, take you all along with me to sort of show you behind the scenes of what it's like for me as the head tech running a tournament. Hi everyone, so I am here. We are in Montreal and I am in one of the three gyms that we have. So this is the quad gym. It is four basketball courts wide. Um, so we are setting up 18 piece in here. We also have a triple court gym, uh, which we will have 12 piece in and a single one for vendors and bags. So not a bad setup. As you can see right over here, we already have a few piece ready to go. Um, so things are moving along pretty nicely right now. Uh, we're just going to keep on going down that way. You can see the rest of our equipment over at that end of the gym. So yeah, so far things are, things are okay. My volunteers are here. My equipment is here. I am pretty happy with this. So I'm going to go continue working to get things set up. Uh, if all goes according to plan, in about another hour or so, we're going to open up early equipment check so that we can hopefully clear out a few people at least before tomorrow morning. Um, but yeah, so far, so good. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Alright, so things are going pretty well right now. It is just about 8.20 or so now, as you can see. The pieces are almost done being set up, as well as we're starting to get the electrical out. We have opened the pre-equipment check and we've already had a few people come through. And they're Sabres, which of course is the best to come through because those are the worst to check. Um, so yeah, so far things are going pretty okay and fingers crossed it'll keep doing so. All right, everyone, checking in again, and we are getting very close. We are getting to that point where we're just finishing up details, which always takes a lot longer than you think it should, but that's the details for you. Um, but yeah, we are very, very close to being done. We're just getting all the grounding wires attached, getting all of the extra reels and machines to the back of the armory just to clear them all out. And yeah, we are almost there. So just for reference on timing, it's about 9.30 now. We got in at about 6. Uh, started probably actually getting into the meat of setting up at about 6.30. So, all in all, this has been a pretty good one, knock off wood. So, still a few things to take care of, which we'll do right now. But I'm hoping we'll be out of here in not too much time. So, just for reference, here is what the entire gym looks like. We have 18 pieces in here three columns of six. And then if we turn around over here, we're just gonna go down this hallway. And through these doors here is our second gym. So we have 12 more pieces in here, two more columns of six. And like I said, we're just finishing up, getting things powered up and taped down. All right, everyone, good morning. So I'm a little late getting here today. It is uh, eight o'clock now, so events are just about to start. Uh, we did all arrive here at about seven to open up the armory, but um, 
we opened up the artery, so it was a little busy with that one. Um, but yeah, things so far are pretty okay. Between the people who checked in yesterday and today, we have managed to clear the line without too much difficulty. Uh, we do unfortunately already have a few things you can see behind me on the table here that have been discovered that they're not working that we need to address later. Um, but we have plenty of spares at least, so that's not a really, really pressing concern yet. So I am going to return to the line, make sure that everything is still going okay. But yeah, so far, so good. Keep your fingers crossed for us. All right, everyone, a bit of an update on the day. It is just about two o'clock right now. Um, it's been busy. I mean, first day is always busy. Uh, there's lots of things that have been breaking, sort of settling in, um, which is good that we're finding them now so that we can keep the rest of the tournament going a bit more smoothly, but it's busy. Um, so, but not in a bad way. So far, knock on wood, everything has been well within expectations. Everything is under control. So we're happy about that one. Um, unfortunately, I haven't been able to take you on any of the strip calls that I've had to do. We did have to relay one of the pieces. The panels were just sliding too far sideways against each other. So it um, wasn't, it was too far for us to just kind of knock it back together. We did have to relay it entirely, but we tossed some gaffer's tape along the bottom of the panels to hopefully try to mitigate it next time. So overall, not too too bad. Had a couple issues with reels. Um, again, expected reels get a ton of abuse with these things. So it is what it is. We'll fix what we can uh, when we have a chance. But yeah, right now things are slowly starting to wind down. Uh, we have one more event close coming up, and then we have to set up our second gym. And yeah, that's that's the rest of the planned activities. And fingers crossed for us, it keeps going well. I may have just changed it. All right, everyone, that was a very successful day one. So as you can see behind me, we're, we're done. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of footage today. Things were really busy, but um, you'll just have to take my word for the fact that it went pretty well. We got everyone through the line and we checked a bunch of people for the next few days, which of course will be very helpful. Um, tomorrow we have a full 200 or so people that are expected for the 8 a.m. start. So the fact that we were able to clear probably at least a few dozen of them is going to help immensely. So right now I have just finished, I've gone through, I've made sure that all of our 07 remotes are plugged in and the 07s are on so those can charge as well as just making sure that things are kind of neat and tidy as best I can. Uh, we do have our second gym available now, so we are finishing up setting that up. Um, and then once all of that is taken care of, we'll be out of here. And it is only six o'clock right now, so this has been a really good day. Things have gone really smoothly so far, and I can only keep my fingers and toes crossed that the rest of the weekend will continue like this. Alright everyone, good morning. It is just after 8.15 right now. Uh, the first big morning rush has been completed and uh, yeah, we're getting fencing. So the next event to close is at about 10 o'clock right now. So as you can see, we're in a little bit of a lull. Uh, so we're just taking the opportunity to clean up our spaces a little bit, clean up the armory a little bit, to make sure we have everything ready to go. But yeah, so far, knock on wood, things are going pretty well. Uh, my lost and found pile is slowly growing. Label your equipment. The amount of things in my lost and found that have no indication of who they belong to whatsoever is ridiculous. So label your equipment. We cannot help you find it unless you label your equipment. But yeah, so far, day two is off to a good start. Hopefully we continue to do so.
Hi everyone, Post Tournament Kia jumping here. Um, cause I basically didn't get any more footage of this tournament other than tear down, which is just a time lapse. Um, and that is because nothing really happened that was of interest. There's only so many times I can look at the camera and say, things are going pretty well, knock on wood, fingers crossed that it keeps going that way for us. Uh, so I didn't really get any footage of day three or four fencing. Things kept going on in exactly the same way. A few reels were broken, we fixed them, and things just kept going along quite swimmingly. Overall, this was one of the smoothest, if not the smoothest, tournament that I have ever had the privilege of being the head tech for. All the equipment arrived on time, all my volunteers arrived on time, and have done this before a few times, so they were really experienced, which was really nice. I had lots of people doing equipment check with me, and there was no real major issues anywhere, which was really nice. It was a nice change of pace from some of the uh, rather more chaotic tournaments that I have been to. So enjoy this time lapse of breaking down first the second gym, the smaller gym that had 12 pieces in it, and then breaking down the larger gym that had 18 pieces in it. And that was Nationals. Thanks for coming along with me on this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any comments, questions, or other topics you'd like me to cover in the future, let me know down below. See you in the next one. Bye.